Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have something special, something big, something massive. And it is my outpost here across New Atlantis. I basically put three outposts next to each other along the shoreline, right across the river in New Atlantis. Every one of them is a different theme. We are here right now on the first one and there's another one in the center and a final one all the way back at the very end. I think the best way to do this video, I'm going to first show you guys from one end. I'm going to take you guys all, all the way to the other end and show you guys inside the houses, either some of them or all of them, depending on time. And then at the end, we're going to go on a bird's eye view and I show you how this all came together. It is, by the way, using the creation kit, one of the new mods. It is the TG's Luxury Homes, I believe. That's the that's the mod. It is not free. It is 600 creation credits. You do get a thousand free creation credits if you bought the premium edition of Starfield. So I did that and I used 600 out of the 1000 for this one. And personally, I think it's worth it. I mean, I had a lot of fun building this, especially the walls. The walls were fantastic and I really, really like it. So that's what we're going to do at the end. I show you how we put all together. But in the meantime, you know, we're going to just go around and show you the interior of some of the houses. Most of the interiors of the houses are very, very similar. Only the layouts change a little bit and uh, the sizes and things like that. There are a few houses that are actually different, quite quite unique. So we're going to go and, and see those as well. And part of this package also includes some of the houses from the game that now you're able to put anywhere in your outpost. So we're talking about the Dream Home, Fras Villa, and I know that there were a couple more houses I think that I did not recognize from the base game that are showing up here as well. So we'll go and see those as well. And right now we are in one of the houses. This is also the first time that I'm here in this house. It's bigger than I thought and looks like we have a lot of rooms. The good thing is that most of the houses, if it has a window, it is actually a see-through, a rear window. You can actually see out. Let's see if I can find my way out and we're going to another house. I put this house in here. Looks like it was a two-story house. I do have a garden in the middle and the garden does have a, a street basically. So I put this a couple of gardens and I all line it up with this street that you see here. And I'll show you more about this when we go on the top down view, the build menu. There's a gazebo. I really like this. This is pretty cool. A lot of trees. Those are new. They're part of the package as well as those street lights that you see that I put everywhere. And then there is this, I believe this is called the garden tress. It looks pretty nice, but this is one of those things that you can only put it on a flat, super flat level. If you put it anywhere that is not flat, you will see a gap in between some of those legs. So it was pretty annoying and anyway. Another small house, like I was saying before, a lot of the interior of the houses are very similar. It's just changing in terms of structures and things like that. And by the way, I did not get to decorate the inside of any of the houses. Uh, number one, I reached the limit, the outpost limit to be able to put anything at all. And then there's the fact that I think it's going to take so long to to actually populate you know the inside of all these houses it's just i feel like it's probably uh, i will never make this video it's gonna be months probably to to actually put everything inside there is this thing that is called the porsche i really like it to kind of connect 
a lot of places and just be able to add stairs to it. Unfortunately, I couldn't put it at the end because we reached the, the water area. So I have this kind of pier in here. I have another pier all the way there. As you can see, there is a pier there. And I do, I do really like this porch. And with this porch, the good thing is like you can merge it really, really close to another structure. Like any structure, you can merge it really close and almost have this seamless connection. And there is this thing that I did that leads to the water. I thought it was fun to do. So there it is. This is basically the garden. I have a couple of those linked together and a few houses. Let's go inside this one. So let's go see this house. A lot of stairs, a lot of stairs. I do like the ones that have a balcony outside and this one doesn't have any balconies, but this is how the houses look on the inside. Uh, not a lot of things that you can interact with other than the doors. But other than that, this is, this is pretty much it. So a lot of houses are really, really similar. And this is the end of the first outpost. I did not close the entire gap. I I could, but I left it open for two reasons. Number one, I do want enemies to be able to find their way and I see if they can invade. I do want to see that. I do have a lot of weapons, just a couple of turrets up here. So, and a few robots that they should be patrolling here, but I don't see them right now. And the other reason is sometimes when I'm at the edge at the top and I make a mistake and I fall outside, I do want to be able to find my way in easily because there's no way I can boost my way up to the wall from the outside. I either have to come in from here if I'm really close or I have to fast travel back into the outpost. And by the way, this outpost here, I name it Andresia Town. So this is Andresia Town. I'm gonna take you guys now to this house. Yeah, this house. Oh, there's one of the robots. This is something that is kind of annoying on one of the steps of the garden. That sometimes the character gets stuck and it won't go up that ladder. This is this is not something that I added together. This is part of it. So the author will probably have to. Uh, maybe see if they can fix that. Like uh, some areas you see, you can just go up easily, but some areas like this, it will not it get stuck. It's a little bit annoying. And let's go past the, the road. Uh, I put another house here right next to the road. I try to do my best in merging them. This is the best I could do. So the character will get stuck when exiting. When oh, coming in, it's fine. Not a lot of going on in this house either. So it, it really looks nice from the outside more than the inside. Oh yeah, that's the house. This is one of the nicer house. I think it's called Elden, Elden House or something like that. It has a, a little garden, very kind of, I guess, uh, Asian, Japanese style type of thing. I think they forgot to put uh, steps here. The, there are steps on the other side or maybe it is by design but the inside is still very much the the same we like a lot of the houses it's just having this little garden inside you know this is kind of nice and the inside of this house this is kind of nice you have these ladders uh, stairs round ones which again they're nice but sometimes the character gets stuck and these are these are trees that are not supposed to be here but kind of you know they glitch but all the window the large windows this is one of the few nicer houses and if i were to decorate the inside probably do something with with this one there is also this kind of balcony and a walk path on the second floor it is definitely one of the more nicer houses here and i believe there is more upstairs i think that you can go yes there we go you can 
actually go up and there is one area is it outside i don't think it's outside i am a little bit lost glass around here very beautiful maybe i was wrong i thought i could go outside but i think it is not i think we have to just jump i'm just gonna boost my way up and i think oh yeah there that's the that's the area oh i yeah there is no way to access this area so we're gonna just boost all the way here but yeah this is this was nice i thought that this one i thought that there was a door here that you could actually access this uh balcony but there isn't one and yeah so this is one of the few houses that are actually very very nice so i thought i show you guys the interior i do like the trees they have lights so they kind of serve a purpose as well as illuminate the path the area so very nice and what else there is this house this is one of the new houses that i do not recognize from the game if any of you guys recognize it uh let me know uh we're gonna go inside there later i'm gonna show you guys this one i think this one has a bit of a balcony going on which is why i put it outside the by the uh, river so i think uh, well yeah it's not exactly exactly a balcony it's just it's just this area i think it's like a front i guess a front balcony if you will but uh but yeah it looks very nice i think this is sunset right now so the area looks very nice uh if we if it take if this video takes too long and it goes dark i'm gonna just cut it sleep to the next day and we'll continue the tour that way so all of that and all the walls they just kind of basically go all around all around of this so let's go to this Ikea style house and i put this one in between our first uh, outpost and the next outpost where the design changes a little bit uh, i don't think this is the house that you can buy this is definitely not the house that you can buy in in Aquila, one of the two ones this is definitely a much larger house there are two entrances there's the back and you have more stairs sorry that was the front this is the back i think i believe this is the back and you have more stairs that leads to the house and this is a decent decent looking house it does have a, a bathroom actually i think one is in here right a shower a bathroom there is a bigger one downstairs if i remember correctly and here i think is is this no this is this is not a bathroom anyway I, oh yeah here there it is this one this one's a much bigger house and so this is also with a much bigger bathroom here and there is i guess whatever whatever this this is a room with blue walls and then you have this kind of small patio so it looks pretty nice it looks very nice i think that the sunset timing right now looks pretty fantastic so now we're going into the next outpost and i call this one Setaville. so we have andresia town and Setaville. that's pretty cool now this one is technically i guess i made this one my house this is basically Rad's villa and if you want a tour of the original house from Rad, then i have a video for that you can you go check it out but i put a balcony and then i put a garden this is a four by one garden and the good thing about the garden is also that you can merge it with another structure so it's, ten, it's actually a square one but i merge it all the way and it merged really well so it actually really looks like a garden and here you can see this is part of you know where the stone edge kind of merge but the rest is just fantastic and we're gonna go in so this is usually the area when you go into vlad's villa and uh, there is this pond and there's the house and uh, vlad's villa has a has a second floor uh, above with a kind of little balcony a patio all that stuff it's really nice 
the inside just all empty. I just really quick show you guys the inside. There is an office in this area. And there is a basement in the game, the standard game, when you go, this kind of becomes his hideout, his control room basically. And we can go now upstairs. So upstairs is where you find the bedroom as well as the dining area. The bedroom is kind of small and the bathroom. So this is this is Vrat's villa but all empty. I'm just gonna do this uh, really quickly that you can see the details of it in my other video. So we exit and what I did here in this area since you can kind of walk around, I made these uh, stone stairs. Each of these is five steps. So I just put a bunch of them, stack it as best as I could. And I put another garden here. This is another version where you have a road in the middle. I really tried to align these with the steps. I just couldn't do it. Uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't go any more further out of the coast. So, so whatever, I just kind of left it. And I put the armillary in here. And yeah, unfortunately it is floating. I don't have any more parts that I could put underneath, but but I think it, it looks fine. I think floating, I think it kind of makes sense. We have a lot of magic and supernatural stuff going on. So I guess it's fine, you know, that is floating. And then there is the the Porsche again, just for, the, for another ladder to go out from this side. But I really like this thing. And it is getting a little bit dark, so allow me guys some time to pass the time to get everything back to daylight. Alright, we are back. So we are now, this is sunrise, so we should be okay. There should be plenty of time. And let's see, let's go here. I did another bunch of gardens here. And I think this one's just just a few gardens, just two or three gardens put together in the center. Uh, just to kind of make things look a little bit nicer. Yeah. So it's two gardens and this the porch here and this basically access to to two houses Here this one is for Sarah and the other one is for Andresia. These are basically two different versions of the dream home so it's slightly it's just slightly different on the outside so here you have basically the ponds but four of them and uh, split and the other is the same but uh, but it looks more like the standard the standard house so yeah this is i believe this is the one that you find in the game the other one is just slightly different where the path is in the middle straight to the door and uh, you have pawns instead of this uh, pool i guess and i put a garden in front on both of them and they merge actually uh, really really well into the house like a pretty pretty decent the inside of the house is still the same it's still very depressing because all the windows are closed there's no way to open them but the layout the layout is still exactly the same as the dream home it looks it looks it looks decent it's been a while since i've been inside the dream home and uh yeah i don't quite remember it but what's in here oh that leads to the outside the patio and this is i think one of the bedrooms and then this is the other bedroom right yeah this is the larger bedroom so two bedrooms the living room and then there was this patio outside but the outside here uh, is definitely nicer than the standard one. And so there's two, one for each. I built this uh, house. I put this house in here in between them. This is basically uh, the intentions is a, a gym, a spa for the ladies. You know, they can come here and chill because it's just it's just this one giant open space. There's nothing else. So I left that in there. The other house that is up there, that is the other unique Aquila style house that is in this pack. So the first one that we saw, I put it there. So that house over there, the small one, it can be Cora's house and that this is Sam's house. 
this has something really cool. So again, like always, there is this garden with a porch that I merge into the, the rest of the house. But then this house has something pretty unique, which is this ramp that goes into this kind of mech. I guess it's probably, I don't know if it's a robot or a mech kind of workshop, but anyway, it is a workshop, I guess. And it, my intentions is that once they release the rover, the land vehicle, I'm just gonna run it all the way up and ram it all the way into that workshop. That's that's my plan for this house. And this is actually not a big house. It has that big workshop, but the house itself is relatively smaller. We can go inside. It looks like a basement. It does have a lot of doors, a lot of access. I guess a utility room, well, that's how you would call. And we have the upstairs. I think this is another door that leads, yep, to the outside. There's a balcony. And I think there are stairs there as well. Uh, there is another floor at the top. And this kind of looks like uh, some sort of, I guess, control station or something, if you will. But the house itself is, the inside of this house is smaller than the other one. But the surface outside is bigger due to that extra kind of workshop kind of area. So this is pretty nice. And then I put another house here. This would be kind of like a hangout, a party kind of house type of thing. And I think this one has a, a bit of a nicer balcony, like a higher balcony. No, it, uh, oh yeah, it is at the top. So we're coming here. Not much going on. All the same. Uh, we come up to the top and there is kind of this balcony. So it kind of very nice overlooking, overlooking the city, New Atlantis. And then you can kind of see the one side of the outpost, the, the main gate. Those are the two towers of the main gate the walls that goes around and then this is the final outpost on the other side and there's a pier so I really like the view from from this particular house and the top floor nothing just just a loft type of area and now we can go out and the final outpost, the third one that is on this side, this is more of an absolutely just normal outpost. Oh, and if you put the tree in a slope, some of the roots kind of show. So be aware of that. And this is the final outpost. I call this one Megatrantis. Yeah? I mean, cool names, huh? Yeah? Or is it just me? And I, I think the names are fine. So Andresia Town, Sataville, and Megatrant is here. So we have this big, big pier. I really wish I could build a garden at the very end, but we are already above on the water, so the system just won't let you. But it's kind of it's still a very nice view from here. And I couldn't get the get the road to go further out. This is as much as the game would allow me to to put the pier and very nice and here i have my landing pad this is the big landing pad and as you can see i put two porches on each side this is because sometimes i just want to have a quick access to the landing pad and sometimes it's just too high to to boost all the way up so having now this porch in one end here is pretty good oh yeah i have to jump a little bit the reason why is if i raise this higher to the same level the the, the stairs here the very last step will be floating will not merge into the land so i decided to make a executive decision and uh, make the top part here just shorter and i put another one there just for quick access this one was fine this one i think is uh, perfectly not perfectly level but at least the character would not get stuck and we have now another stair here 
and this is absolutely a more normal outpost this outpost used to be the very first outpost on the other side i ended up rebuilding it here and this is for actually regular stuff and we go to the very end so the very end here is also not fully 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 close it is slightly oh huh, what are, what happened with these two why are these two floating this, they they glitched I believe they should be on, on the land anyway. So a little bit less of a smaller gap in here. Just also another place for me to be able to access and enter in case I fall out from the top. So yeah. And in case anybody's wondering, yeah, you can go all the way to the top, to the walls, and I kind of just run along. So let's, let's go there. Uh, I'll show you how the top looks. This is one of the, the towers at the end and you can go in, you have stairs that will take you all the way to the, the top, right? So you can have this and it's pretty cool, pretty cool view. You, you get so close to those aliens, you can just shoot them from my hip here. And then the wall itself, you do have this. You do have uh, stairs as well that you can go and you can use and then just go basically all around so the connection as you can see you basically merge one wall into the next and uh, you can also install put turrets along the walls and i believe i have a few I think it's on the other on the other walls, but you are able to put terrace even even here on the edge. Oh hey, what are they doing to my uh let's kill them. You do not come inside my house. You do not come inside my house. Alright, so we are here in the middle section of the outpost and obviously when you're building one, it won't let you seamlessly move to the other one. I have to go to the other one and then kind of build. But basically, yeah, the walls, they allow you to merge into one another. So, And it also allows you to build a little bit outside of, the, of your circle, like for example, if I show you here, you see it does go outside like this structure. It goes outside the circle because you can see that the circle line is here and I'm able to actually go a little bit further out. And that is across the all of them, which is why I'm able to completely enclose these three outposts because of this ability to to go slightly outside of the of your building circle so that's how this became these three outposts but actually completely enclosed because of this in here same thing you can see that the, cir the circle line ends here but clearly this wall is going outside of that it seems like as long as the center of it is within or on top of the line of the building area uh, the corners the size can go out with absolutely no issues and here is the top-down view of the first outpost and i really like the having this road in here and i mean i wish i could lower it but this is kind of like the minimum but it turned out pretty nice with some porches on the side a couple of gardens a lot of gardens some houses and things like that and there's the this is the main gate some power for the weapons the weapons take power the houses all that stuff they don't seem to require any any power and if we bring out the surface map as you can see this is this is how the structure how the the outpost is so we have you know the three outposts and basically the walls just kind of go in, in, in semi-circles and that's how the whole thing came to be. I tried to build into this area, I couldn't. So I couldn't because I think the restriction area is also a big circle from here. So 
if you go to this side, it becomes too close. Even when I tried to use the glitch to build outpost, I was able to create an outpost here, but I was only able to use half of it, less than half of it. Most of the surface I couldn't use, so I couldn't go towards the south. I had to go towards the, the north, which is, which is not bad because you do kind of get a very direct view of the city. The surface is actually pretty comparable to the size of Atlantis. New Atlantis has more verticality. Obviously, the city is bigger, more dense. But the surface now, all three outputs together, is, you know, pretty substantial. Overall, I think it was a pretty good success. Since this mod already disables achievements, and honestly, I don't quite care about achievements. I think I only have four left, and I don't think I'm gonna uh, try to accomplish those. I might get a mode that will remove or increase the build limit so that I could uh, populate with crew stations because I cannot send any crew here without crew stations. The idea is for this outpost, here to be the area for all the crew members the regular crew members to to live you know this is this is kind of their their area then the middle outpost here this will be for me and my companions so there's a kind of one house basically for each of the four companions plus Cora Cora can stay in here and uh, and then this outpost it will be actually the work outpost so yeah I, I don't know if i will be able to ever decorate the inside of these houses yeah that, that seems like a big big job uh it could take months to actually fill this place i don't know let me let me know what you guys think i mean if i i mean i, I feel like if i somehow hit 10,000 subscribers between now and christmas or the holidays then you know what i think i'm gonna do it so anyway so let me know what you guys think personally i really like this mod this is probably my favorite third party mod right now the most useful i believe so i wanted to share this video in case some of you were wondering about this mod and thinking whether they should get it or not hopefully this video helps you make your decision one way or another and maybe also satisfy your curiosity for some of you. Uh, at least now there is a video out there that shows you pretty much, you know, everything that you get from this mod. Because, you know, not everyone may want to use this mod. It does disable your achievements. That's probably the main concern I can foresee for most players more than the monetary aspect of this. So, all right. Anyway, yeah, let me know. Is this, was this good? <laughs> Please don't forget to like or subscribe. I never send out notifications when I upload. So, so you will never get interruptions from this channel. That is my promise. All right. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the game. Have fun. And I'll see you all in the next video.